Good morning. So today we're going to have a look at real-time uh, match moving, uh, a very interesting way of uh, incorporating uh, green screen footage into your CGI environments. Today we're going to have a look at how I created this scene in the music video Hero with uh, the great artist Ray Lee. She sits on the hood of a DeLorean from Back to the Future and uh, sings playback. So the studio in Norway sent me this uh, green screen footage. Uh, first things first, we have to uh, key this out. And uh, this is a Blender tutorial, so I will not uh, go over how I key this, but I keyed it in uh, After Effects using various masks, as you can see here, uh, separating uh, the legs from the background and um, basically extracting the best alpha I could uh, possibly get. Um, I really like to use a key cleaner and uh, refine soft mats for keying. Uh, and if you would like a more comprehensive tutorial on, on how to key in After Effects, please let me know uh, and I will uh, make one. If uh, you're interested. So I added this shadow uh, between the legs, uh, when you will see why in a bit. Uh, but it, uh, it's the small, small things that adds uh, detail. So what you want to do is export the footage as PNG sequence and uh, choose uh, either 8-bit or 16-bit, depends on how good quality you want. Um, and hit render. So after you've, you've uh, rendered it, you get this folder with a bunch of uh, PNG images, which is great. So, finally in Blender. Uh, this is a uh, DeLorean I downloaded from, I think it was uh, Turbo Squid, if I remember correctly. Um, it's not created by me. Um, I'll uh, link it down below. I did change the number plate uh, to uh, really the name of the artist to better fit the video, but that's basically all I did with the model. Uh, so first things first, we're going to create a camera. Uh, then if you go into walk navigation uh, and reposition it, something, try to match the angle um, and uh, you can also find uh, walk navigation here, uh, where you can add it to your uh, quick favorites. It's very handy, which I highly recommend. Um, I know for a fact that they uh, shot the green screen footage uh, at 24 millimeters, which is very handy to know. So you can uh, match the uh, perspective of the cameras and try to uh, frame it. Uh, so it matches uh, her height, or the height they shot the footage from. Then what, then what you want to do is import images as planes, and if you don't have this, this is an add-on which comes with Blender, so you just have to search for it in the preferences. Uh, search for images, and you'll find it here, and just activate it. Then you can uh, right uh, shift a and uh, import images as planes then navigate to where you uh, rendered the keyed footage uh, check the uh, animate image sequences box and remember to use alpha and uh, the same settings which you used before pre-multiplied and uh, i think that's it um, yeah and just import it And if everything went correctly, you should have a transparent alpha with the keyed footage. Now go into the camera view and try to align it as much as possible. Uh, so we already planned that she was going to sit on a car, so that makes it easier. Always plan what you're yeah, always plan what you're uh, going to do beforehand. It makes uh, life much easier. Um, yeah, as and as you can see, like even if 
she's a flat plane. It kind of looks like she's sitting on the on the car, which is uh, which is good. Mm. Yeah. So I, uh, for this shot, I used uh, an add-on called HDRI, HDRI Maker. Um, I can link it down below. And uh, it's not a tutorial about the uh, HDRI Maker, so I will not go over how I cr created this. But it's basically an HDRI map, which is like inside of a bubble. Uh, that you can like place things on the ground, which is really, really cool. Uh, I think CG Matter has a tutorial on this one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a very cool add-on, anyways. Um, then what you want to do is always to increase the roughness and decrease the specular of your uh, alpha, so it, so it doesn't pick up uh, like reflections and stuff. And if we play it back, you will see that it plays really, really slow. Uh, yeah. So we'll go into uh, preview mode and let's... Eh, better, but yeah, the playback is not the best. Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, but if you scrub through here, you can see like it um, yeah, looks kind of cool. Uh, what else could we do with this? Well, let's see. We could... Uh, as you can see, like if we... Uh, check the uh, uh, bloom effect you can see how it influences her hair which is really cool and remember to check the uh, screen space and the motion blur and uh, we're an Eevee now by the way also if you didn't notice uh, yeah so let's go to frame one and uh, yeah, I mean, this is a cool shot, but we can make it even cooler with some uh, camera movement. Hence the uh, match moving part. Uh, so if you uh, check the uh, auto keyframe and go to the first frame. Uh, now, if you select the camera and hit the uh, walk navigation, you can like animate the uh, walk navigation uh, while you're playing the video. So if you just walk around like randomly with the uh, WASD -A keys like getting the, the camera movement that you want um, something like this works it's um, it's easier if you're actually seeing what uh, the, uh, if you're actually seeing the, the keyed footage but my computer is so laggy so I will just do it uh, the, the lazy way and just guessing uh, but yeah something like that so now if we have a look at it you'll see that it's uh, looking really really crappy but that's okay because we'll fix it but yeah uh, we got the uh, the animated uh, movement which is nice so uh, you're probably thinking yeah this looks really crappy and uh, really choppy and uh, yeah that's, uh, that's correct, it does. But uh, there's a very handy way to fix that, which is using uh, smooth keys, which we'll go over. So if we uh, go back to uh, wireframe, so everything moves a bit quicker, what you wanna do is go to animation and the graph editor. And here you can see all the keyframes. Uh, there are some keyframes missing in between though, so we'll go to key and then uh, sample keyframes. And then go to key again and then smooth keys. And you can see the uh, hotkey is Alt O. So you want to hit the shortcuts like lots of times to smooth out keys. Like something 100 perhaps. Yeah, it's, um, it depends on your taste, but something high uh, to get some really smooth keys. So we'll increase this like a bunch of times. Alt-O. Yeah, something like that, like that perhaps. And uh, yeah, we have a thing. 
Hey, looks kind of good, actually. Smooth. Yeah, I mean, perhaps it's not like ultra realistic, but it, it adds some some smooth movement to your camera shots. And the thing is that since uh, she's basically placed on a plane, you don't have to do any tracking or anything. So she follows the camera movement. And uh, yeah, I mean, as long as you don't like rotate the camera around her, uh, revealing that she's uh, flat. It looks uh, kind of convincing, actually, in uh, in my opinion. And uh, you get these uh, nice reflections and shadows and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, like, directly, real-time. So uh, you can see the shadows uh, from the actor or uh, artist or whatever. So if you just re-enable this, uh, yeah, you get something like this when you render it out. And uh, that's uh, basically it. If you want like a tutorial more in depth on uh, specific things in this tutorial, uh, this was kind of a brief overview of how I created uh, the scene. Please let me know in the comments and uh, I will have a look at it. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, yeah, just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.